Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to completely uninstall Windows 11 and install Ubuntu. I'll be using a USB as my installation media. So plug in the USB to your PC, make sure it's recognized, memorize the drive letter. I recommend you using an 8GB or larger USB device. Then head over to the UNET boot in website. You can find the link in the description box below. That's an app that does not install on your PC and does not install anything else. Go ahead and download it. Once downloaded, run it. Click yes to the warning. Then on the top, select the distribution, which is Ubuntu. Though it has a variety of operating systems there. And then select the version, in this case, 2004. I believe they had the latest version, I think, 2010. But I'll be using 2004 for this tutorial. Yep. Okay, now on the bottom, select type USB device, drive letter E, make sure to select the proper drive letter and hit OK. It'll create the uh, bootable Ubuntu installation media or USB. Once done, it tells you here that you need to change the boot sequence to boot from that USB. But since we're using Windows 11, the process is much simpler. So exit, click on start, click on power, and press down the shift key, hold it down, and while holding down the shift key, click on restart. Upon restart, you'll see this uh, screen. Choose an option. Here, select Use a Device. This screen here is unique for every user. So, to easily identify your bootable USB, just look for the brand name. In my case, it's SanDisk. It's located to the bottom right. Now, if you select the wrong device, nothing wrong will happen to your PC. It'll just reboot to your Windows 11. If you select the proper USB device and it doesn't boot to you the uh, Ubuntu installation media, then that means your PC BIOS does not support booting from the USB from here. You would have to manually change it in the BIOS. I have a link in the description box that will help you do that. Now here select, in my case, the brand name of the USB and it'll bring up the grub menu. Here using the arrow keys, make sure to select Ubuntu and hit enter. It'll check disk and then start the installation process. Here, select the language and click on Install Ubuntu. Here, select the keyboard layout. Continue. Okay, these options are optional. You can select minimal installation if you want. Install third-party software. But I'll leave everything default and continue. This is very important here. To completely delete Windows 11, select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu, the second option. The same applies if you're deleting Windows 10 or any Windows operating system. Once done, click on Continue. Install now.
click continue to this warning. All it says is all the information will be deleted and replaced with Ubuntu operating system. Select your time zone. Enter your information. I'll select login automatically so I don't have to put my password every time I boot. And then it'll start installing your Ubuntu operating system. Once done, click on restart now and unplug the USB from the PC. I think it'll tell you here. Yep. Please remove the installation medium and hit enter. Once you reboot, you'll boot to your Ubuntu. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.